So, hey, loves. I'm going to start y'all off with this Bible verse. It's called Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. It says, basically, trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lead on your own understanding. And always acknowledge him and he will make your, he will um, make straight your paths. Allowing God to guide your begins with a commitment to trust. So, you know, um, we go through life understanding, like, why we had so much heartache. I mean, trying to figure out why we had so much heartache. Why do we have so much pain? Uh, why do we go through things we go through? Um... I'm not sure why you went through the things you went through, but it builds you to be stronger and to know that God is always on your side and that he's always uplifting you. You may not see it, you may not feel it, you may not know it, but he's always in the center of the corner or not even to, not even in the center of the corner. He's always next to you while you're going through all the pain and all the stress. Um, we stressed about a whole different thing. It could be financial problems. It could be... Um, relationships, it can be home problems, like you might not, your mom probably kicked you out or something like that, and you might try to find somewhere to go, which you didn't expect her to do. Um, you could be in two with your dad. Maybe you and your dad might not have a good relationship, but if you pray for those, if you pray for that, and you ask God to, um, heal you from that, and basically to, um, help you to understand why things are the way they are and if he can't give you an understanding to why you why your mom put you out just simply pray a prayer that he clean her heart and he make her see that she was wrong for putting you out if i'm making sense like just get her to see a lot of stuff happened like we get in situations where we can't get out of and some situations we can't get in, get out of when we are tough situations we should turn to god and not lead on we should not be asking why this is happening. Instead, we should be going to prayer and, and ask God, help me to get out of the situation. I don't want to question the situation, but I just want you to make it better for me. That's what I need to do. I need to stop questioning God when things are not going right and just pray to him and say, God, I don't even want to question why this occurred today. But what I do want to what I do want to, want to talk to you about is to help me get through this. I don't want to question it. I just want to trust in you because I know you will make a way and I know that you would make things better for me at the end of the day. It might not seem like that now, but over time, they will get better. So we can't always lead on our understanding or our friends understanding or whoever else we're talking to understanding because at the end of the day, they don't have the final say in nothing. Your friend can, your friend can um, tell you things all day long that don't mean they they know the right words to say for real and they might nine times out of ten be wrong you know you can't always rely on people to tell you if stuff gonna get better because they don't know they stuff i mean the only person that's gonna know is god so that's why he says do not lead on your own understanding come to me and i will let you know if things will get better that's why i don't really ask someone like if you do you think it's going to get better for me i try not to because at the end of the day they don't know they're not a they can't see far ahead he's the only one that can see far ahead he's the only one that can tell you okay it will get better if you put your trust in me if you if you stop doubting so much and if you stop questioning so much and you just let me to work on this area of your life and not be so concerned about it so much and try to focus on something else Way to be honest, we worry about a lot of things. Like, like I said, we worry about what we gonna eat tomorrow. We worry about what we gonna sleep at tomorrow. We worry about if we gonna wake up the next morning or not. But he doesn't want us to be so concerned about that. He want us to live right now and do what he do what he called us to do now. Not worry about what's gonna happen tomorrow. What's gonna happen next week? Just living right now. You know, if you haven't. Talk to him today. This is a great time to talk to him today. Any time is a great time to talk to God. There's no set of time where I don't think it's a set of time to really have a time that you can talk to him. Whenever you're free, whenever you get time, just go in your room or somewhere in the car area and just talk to God. Like, okay, like today this this boy, you can say for instance, like, say for instance, like, this boy, this girl you met today, they didn't really like you, dude, you didn't understand why you thought everything was going good, but the whole time they didn't really, they wasn't really feeling you for real, you trying to, they're 
gain clarity and understanding as to why this happened or whatever. And he's going to explain to you why. Probably not right then and there, but he's going to explain to you why. And your friends might be telling you in the corner, like, oh, he probably just was trying to play you or all this and that. They don't know. That's why they say. That's why I says do not lead on your own understanding. Get your knowledge. If you want to know anything that happens in life or why situations go on the way they go on, ask God. Do not ask your friends at the end of the day. They don't know what they're talking about. I don't even know. So at the end of the day, how could I tell you why God turned you down? Or how can I tell you why a girl not responding to your message? I don't know. My best advice to me, so for me, will be to pray. Did you ask God about it? Did you tell him how you feel about it? How did it make you feel? What did what what did you think about it? Even if your thoughts was wrong, still, did you tell him you thought that? And you just, you know, I don't know, like, you, you didn't want to think that, but you did at the time, man, because we all have negative thoughts at some point in time. Like, I think negative all the time. And I then used to be like that. I used to think positive about everything, like, no matter what it was. Even if negative situations would pop up, I still say, Oh, tomorrow will be better. Oh, tomorrow will be great. Oh, tomorrow will be better. Like, I just, just always say that. And, you know, I always breathe the word of God, and I would just always be have a positive mindset. Like, let's say, for example, I got a bad grade on a test. I'll be like, okay, well, next next test, I'm going to do good. I'm already knowing already. I ain't going to stress, but I ain't going to worry about it. I ain't going to even try to figure it out why, because I already know I'm going to do better. I just always be like that. The more you be like that, the more you say, hey, okay, this girl might just hurt me down today. This boy might just hurt me down today. It's other people out here that you can talk to. It's a gang of guys out here. It's a gang of girls out here. It's a lot of people out in this world. So just for that one incident or that one date was a disaster, it's other people that you can go ahead and talk to. But before you commit yourself fully to another person, make sure you're fully healed from that person because you don't want to get to a relationship or a friendship and be broken. You want to make sure that you're healed, you know, physically, emotionally, mentally. You don't want to go nowhere with a broken heart, you know. You have to make sure you're okay, 100% okay, for real. Like, I hope this, I hope I make a perfect sense because I'm really trying. So, um, yeah, just make sure when you're, you know, communicating with other people, um, you're not fully broken or you're not hurting or nothing like that know that but pain is temporary and you guys know that pain doesn't last forever um he would not let have you pay forever and it goes away eventually you might not go away overnight but eventually the pain will stop your your heart will heal your wounds will heal all that stuff heals pain is not does not live with you for the rest of your life doing that's not um if you want to like i said figure out anything that goes on in life just ask him to give you understanding, that's the only way you're going to find anything. Nobody on this earth can tell you nothing more than God can tell you anything because he know everything. So I have somebody on earth going to tell you something. They can't see far ahead. They don't even know what heaven looks like. So how are they going to tell you if something's going to get better or not? They don't know their soul. And they probably ask, what you need to be asking them is if, how they prayed their soul. How they talked to God their soul. Did God tell them to say that? Because if he did not tell them to say that, why would they tell you? Oh, okay, well, I guess it's going to get better. Well, I don't know. If you, like, don't tell me that then. Like, no, don't tell me stuff that's negative. Like, if you can't say anything positive to me, then it's no need to be talking about it. But I don't bet to people in the first place because they always got some negative stuff. They always saying, oh, you shouldn't be so concerned about that. If y'all want to be concerned about it, I can be concerned about it. At the end of the day, this is my life. But, yeah, you know. If you want understanding from from God, you ask Him from understanding. Do not lean on what other people are telling you. You know, don't lean on their understanding. People have all different kind of mindsets. People think all differently. They all think differently. I think differently. You think differently. You might not think the same way I think. Everybody think differently. They don't have the same mindset as you, and they definitely don't have the same heart as you. So how somebody gonna tell you how to think about something, how to feel about something? When they don't, when they think different, what make you cry might not make them cry. What hurt you might not hurt them. At the end of the day, cause you got y'all two different people. So that's why I say I don't vent to people because they're not in my shoes. They can't feel what I feel. So at the end of the day, what do I look like telling somebody, oh how I feel? Cause at the end of the day, all they gonna say is, 
oh, I don't get it. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't. Oh, I never went through that before. But guess who have God? So he know how you feel. He know what you're experiencing. That's why he say put it on him because he know what you deal with and what you don't deal with. So why would you vent to another human on this earth for it? But if you do say each his own, I ain't doing it. That's just me personally. But if you feel more comfortable and, you know, more more pleased with being into someone, then go right ahead. But I ain't doing it. I ain't putting my trust in no therapist out here, none of that. Because at the end of the day, they cannot feel what I feel. And they cannot understand where I come from at the end of the day. You can see the therapist all day. But at the end of the day, are they you? No. They probably got a whole marriage at home. Or a whole husband, wife, whatever at home. They trying to get that money and go. They don't care you feel for real. So why waste your money and time and breath on somebody that don't even, can't even relate and that's there for a paycheck and, and they looking at time to go. They ain't worried about how you feel. They pretending like they care. People pretend a lot. You got to be very observant. I was observing all day today and kind of just looking at people, energy, they vibes, all that. They, 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 they I wasn't even looking at nothing. No, I'm reading you. That's one thing about me. I will read people energy and I see based off how they act for real. That's why I can sense that somebody is playing and when they're not playing and when their tensions are pure and when their heart is pure because I pay attention to everything. I might not understand fully at the time being, but I'm definitely going to understand where they're coming from eventually. It might not click right there and there, but I'm going to get it eventually. So, you know. But still, at the end of the day, I don't leave. I try not to leave on my own understanding because that's what this whole video is about. Don't lead on your own understanding, you know. If you're confused about anything or you feel like something not right or you want clarity to understand better at the end of the day, ask God. He going to give you that clarity. He going to let you know, okay, you want to understand on this situation, I'm going to give you understanding on this situation. But what you going to do after you use this question, after I give you the answer to it, you going to apply it to your life or you going to have it just to have it? No. If he gives you understanding to something, Tell him thank you and be grateful and use that knowledge that he gave you. He gave you this knowledge for a reason. So use the knowledge, apply it to your life, and go from that. So, yeah. That's basically all I can say, for real. Because, yeah. Um, you know, just try not to lead on your own understanding, for real, for real. Because... Your man will play choice on you. Your man will tell you stuff that's not even happening for real. Because my man does that a lot. My man tells himself all the time that they have it for real. It would be like, oh, you're going to have a bad day tomorrow and I have a good day. Or it would be like, oh, nobody likes you and people do like me. Or they'll be like, oh, nobody loves you. People do love me. Like, you cannot allow your man to play choice on you. That's nothing but the devil. He making you think those things. You cannot let, you cannot let him have you in that mindset the more you think like that you're not going to get nowhere in life you have to know that you love that you're wanting and that you're needed on this earth if you wasn't needed on this earth you would not be here you're here to fulfill a purpose your purpose is not fulfilled yet because if it was fulfilled you would not be living right now so fulfill your purpose do what god has called you to do and you know do not lead on your own do not lead on your own understanding if you are confused once again about anything, you ask for understanding. Ask him to give you understanding to why stuff is like this. I'm mean, I'm finna ask him give me understanding about this teacher because at the end of the day, I never could get him. I could sit in class all day and don't get nothing that he's saying. Why? Because it's how he explaining it. It's not clicking to me. So and I'm still telling him I'm not getting you. So I'm gonna to pray to God tonight before I go to sleep at night. God, give me understanding to what this man is saying in class because I can't understand what he's saying. And he keeps saying, I understand. If I understand, I wouldn't be so confused and, I, and my head wouldn't be hurting so much because my head been hurting. So, because I'm not understanding what he's saying. So, and I'm telling him, I just finished his homework assignment. Do you know how long it took me to finish his homework assignment? And people, and all, people all in the class are like, oh, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I get it. I'm still, I'm still trying to figure it out. Like what? But I have to understand. I cannot lean on my own understanding. That's why my head was hurting because I'm still trying to lean on my own understanding. And now I go to God and ask him, what is this man saying? Can you help me understand? I don't want to lean on my understanding. I want you to help me figure it out. 
I don't want to lay it on it because at the end of the day, it ain't going to do, uh, it ain't gonna do nothing but cause me stress like it is. Like my, my head right now is hurting because I was trying to figure out what he was saying. And I kept asking people in class, oh, what's he, what he saying, what he saying, what he saying. And God is looking at me like, you asking all the people in class, well, you should be asking me what he's saying. I'm going to give you the, the understanding that they cannot. I'm going to give you the understanding that humans cannot give you. So at the end of the day, don't ask these people out here what what the teacher's saying. You don't get what he's saying. Ask him. If he don't explain the right to you, then you come to the higher me and you let me know. You know, I don't get what this man said. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure you the class me that I know you can class me. Ain't no pretty sure. I know you can class with me. So, I need you to help me figure out what this man is saying because he's not making sense to me. It's not clicking because if it clicked, I wouldn't be so confused in his class. And I keep telling him the same. Every time I go to class, I kid y'all not. I tell this man every time I see him, I don't get what you be saying. He always tell me, oh, you're not thinking hard enough. I think hard enough because if I didn't think hard enough, my head wouldn't be hurting. So apparently something going on because I'm study thinking. I'm study trying to, oh, is this right? Oh, is that? And God is looking at me like, don't ask these people nothing. Like, you know. They can't explain they can't explain stuff to you better than I can. So stop trying to get your understanding from these people and get your understanding from me. If you're confused about anything in life, whether it's a teacher, a guy, whoever, get your understanding from me. No person on this earth can give you that understanding but me. So at the end of the day, get that understanding from me. Stop relying on people at school, whoever you rely on. At the end of the day, they're gonna send you off. So get your understanding from me. I'm going to break it down to you where you can understand because clearly the people that study your life, they can't explain this to you very well. And I'm going to send you people that can explain you stuff that's better because they obviously can't do it for whatever the reason is. But yeah, if you watch all the way to the end of this vlog and you want to, and you understand, you can hear me because it's not my friend. I hope y'all can be talking because I talk a lot, a lot, a lot. I talked a lot. So I hope y'all understood everything that I'm saying. I hope this video made sense. And if it did, leave me a thumbs up. Leave me a thumbs up. And leave that any more. That lets me know you watch the whole vlog and that you liked it. And you want a part two to um, trust in the Lord with, with all your heart. And do not leave on your own, your own understanding. Amen. Amen. Bye, loves. So how do I? Okay.